Look at this cat. She just looks at herself in the mirror. She just stares at herself. Oh. Oh. She's like, who's that? Who the? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for another episode of Final Fantasy 16. I'm so excited because we are entering into a side quest galore. Guys, last episode we just unlocked being able to do side quests throughout Valisthea. On top of that, we have a few in the hideaway. So if you couldn't guess by now, we are, I don't know which chapter we just finished, but we basically just told Sid that we are going to join him. Jill and I both, we accepted my fate, the fact that I am Ifrit, we are no longer living in denial. And so with that, we are trying to kind of make some reparations. We're trying to do some good in Valisthea. Um, I know that the chapter I believe is actually called Writing Wrongs or something to such. I think more than just writing wrongs, it's also trying to make the place a better area for both bearers and everybody as well. And so, one of the points that I talked about at the very end and the quote that I just love is Sid always talks about how he wants people to be able to die freely and Clive kind of counters that and is like no 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 we need to make them live freely so that is where we're picking up we just accepted that mission from him but we're gonna start with side quests so as always if you guys are not checking this should be I think it pops up down below um like in the scroll bar thing but you guys should be able to skip around. So if you don't want to see the side quest, definitely check out the timestamps and it should tell you when we pick back up on the main mission progression. But with that, you guys, thank you for being here and welcome back in. Let's go. Goot, goat. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fetch you a bowl of brown. Oh, please, Kenneth. I would love that. All right, let's start by doing the side quest within the hideaway and then we will go outside. We're not going to talk to Gabby yet. At his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. What do you suppose it could be? You're going to leave me hanging like that? That's like when people say, you know what they say. I don't know what they say. Tell me. <laughs> what do they say? Curse breaker? The reports from Eastpool are disturbing. Tell me about it. We knew the Viceroy had no love for her subjects, but... Vicery. To order the slaughter of an entire village. I was doing. Was that the chicken making that noise? It is. Why do they make that noise when they walk? So Glenn. All right, let's do it. The courier. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack and. Fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. Oh. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Oh. Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. What is the he letter he's been brain? waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. Mm. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Red letter day. Um, I noticed this actually last episode. I think Doris and a few of the others, they also kind of had that, where it almost looks like an attempt to remove the branding. But it doesn't go exactly right. I'll be in touch if I don't. It's not my problem. Fine. Yes. Tell me where to look. How do we? Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. Hmm. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. Assuming that's the only spot it could and be. If you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <sighs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's Bales. Have oh, we been there? Hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. Imagine receiving a favor from somebody sure and being like, doesn't. oh, okay, but like, hurry. 
Like, I guess then it would not be a favor, but still, you know what I mean? It's like, we do it, run along. very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Oh, it's There's in Sambrek. in the main hall. This time. Oh, Infirm Bear. That's why we haven't heard of it, is it's in Sambrek, which means I don't think we can access that right now, but I'll, I'll try. Okay, let's pop over here. I guess maybe I should just grab all of the side quests as much as possible, and it's then... Never this late. I can't help but fear the worst. What's your What's up? Where are you, Randall? Albin. Is everything all right? Albin Lane. Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Mm. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Mm. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then... I ask a favor of you. Every time. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? No. Of course I will. The needs of the many. I'll do what I can. Where is he? Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall. And I Lost suspect Wing. you'll find him in Lost Wing. We need to go there anyway. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. Thank you. And thank you again. You're so sweet. I'm gonna prioritize. Well, they're both important, but we'll see which one I like to do more. Okay, I love it. I think it will put. No, I think that's all the ones that they'll put up on the screen. Is I think they'll only do three. Five, was it? Warm-hearted bear. I think she's been saying Clive, wasn't it, multiple times to me. And still continues to. <laughs> she just really wants me to say yes. Do you back. need any help, uh, Miss Molly? I don't know. You, you could rinse and chop these greens for the stew, I suppose. Oh, does he like her? Alright, to goat. Got. Good to see you. Goot. No, good's the other guy, right? Me? Suppose you could say I'm his right-hand man. I forgot that we hadn't asked him. He's a hard master, but not nearly as hard as my old one was. When the man beat me bloody and threw me out onto the streets to die, it was Otto who found me and took me in. The way I see it. I owe him, and so I help him look after the ledgers, as well as reading through the, all the reports that come in from our allies across the twins. And if it sounds like someone out there needs our help, I make a note so I can point out any willing volunteers in the right direction. So, what do you say? Are you willing? There's no sure way of turning Otto's frown a little less frowny. Okay, let's go to Anything the ones that on are... It? There should be some... No, I think there's not. Oh, it's in Rosaria or Sambrek. Oh, we can't go to Lost Wing. No, it says nearby... It does. Okay, I want to do this one while the cat's away. Well, dying on the vine. Both of these are close to, uh, are both of these in Lost Wing? I believe so, yeah, because those are the vineyards. Yes, both of these are in Lost Wing. So let's do this one first, then we'll go to Rosaria, and then we'll do, yeah. All right, travel. Do, 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 do. Uh... Oh, it sent us... Oh, I thought it was actually going to put us in the... The one even further outside. This is perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and prioritize... To the journal. We need to do... Needs of the many. No, red letter. Yes, a courier at the hideaway asked Clive to find some goods. Including an important letter. I think this one is here. I know needs of the many is here, so let's do this one first. Search the Gutland... Guten Bales. Let me, can I, hold on. Let me take that one off and just keep this one on. And then prioritize. 
So, I believe that means it should be this one because it's one marker. Yeah. It's cool seeing the town be more alive than we have seen in the past. Plus, whoa, hold on. It's not nighttime, but it's not daytime. Is it like dusk? Is it becoming. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad? Ooh. There were purple handprints all over her skirts. <gasps> they. The scandal. Oh, Quentin's attendant. That's not the guy we're looking for. Red letters now number two. Quentin. My man. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. Hmm. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Yes. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. Oh, now, now thinking about it. it. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Quentin's nice, but I can't, like, I can't put my finger on it. There's, like, an, uh, there's something uneasy about it. another cup, Daddy? There'll be none left for me. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's so soft-spoken that it's suspicious. Sun's setting fast. They're yeah. From the it does feel like the sun's setting right now. All right, continue on one mission at a time. It is kind of, uh, it's a little distracting to see so many popping up all over the place. Like, there's three over in that direction. I think we're headed in the right direction. Actually, there's a good way to find out. Yeah, no, this is perfect. Okay. He has to be the guy from Game of Thrones. I haven't seen if you guys confirmed it for me yet or not. I heard from a couple of the bearers what you did to them royalists over I did. I bopped them upside their head. Alright, snag the loot. Sprint up. Doing side missions will be so beneficial for leveling up all of our abilities, y'all. Gathering all the goods, getting the best equipment, gear, and, and also righting some wrong. Can't forget that. Before we talk to him, grab this. Yes. Where are we at with potions? Three potions, one high potion. <sighs> Quentin's comrade. Are you all right? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. Yeah. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Always further Where down. Where did this happen? Further down the road. Damn. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Also, is he just stopping to catch his breath? I feel like if I was being attacked, I would be sprinting all the way back. I wouldn't be stopping on a road. I'm out. Unless you're injured or I can't make it. Oh my goodness. Goblins. All right. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Woo! All right, let's switch over to our other one. Also, by the way, I have seen a couple of you guys are suggesting trying different, um, like, button layouts. As much as I think some of them would have been better for me at the very beginning of the game, because I've done button A for so long, I feel like I can't go back. Like, the layout A. Limit break, smack them around a little bit. Can I still get hurt during limits? I'm assuming so. Woo! No precision dodge. I didn't cast any of my limit stuff. Nice. Stagger? I guess you should do limit during staggering him. Could be bad. Right. 
I had two coin stars. Cyber damage was massive. Also, let's go ahead and get him doing stuff. Whoa! Okay, I got knocked upside the head on that one. Oh, I parried him! I didn't even mean to! Mm. Oh, that was not very huh? My wounds are going to heal me. He's kind of pressed up in a bad position right now. Wake wins. Oh, uh, that was a really obvious one to dodge. Nice takedown. But in Galgen, switch to the next three. All right, try to do a flaming blade. Can I just spam that? What? I didn't realize you could spam it like that. That seems kind of OP. Whoa. Nice, that was actually really well done. Hillgris? Hillgas? What was it? Gris? Enemy slate. Yeah, that was so much fun. I'm getting the parry thing down. I told you guys I was going to work on it. A bone necklace. Very little rhyme and even less reason went into the creation of this ghastly neck ornament. The bones <laughs> strung along its crude twine, most likely belonging to those unfortunate to meet its maker. I believe that we have already received a bone necklace because I think it didn't pop up as a new item. All right, local map updated. So there should be somebody around here. Oh, he's right there. How he survived that is incredible. But before we grab him, let's go. Um, I see some items. Don't mind if I do. If I look too long, I'll find other items and I don't have to do it. Grab this one, then we'll go back to him. Oh, there's wolves over there. And I already got that chest, so I don't feel like we need to do the confrontation with them. Should be right there. Nice. Oh no, I think it's too late. No. Yeah. I would have been a miracle if he survived an attack from those guys. Sorry, Randall. Poor Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. No. I'll speak to Quentin. Yeah. Alright, so go back to Quentin to inform him. Can I fast travel through here, by the way? Yeah, I should be able to fast travel back to the... Nice! That'll make the quest so much easier. Oh. Gav's... Is that Gav? No, Elaine. I saw the blonde hair and turquoise and thought it was him. I want to do the mission. Yeah, I want to do the mission in the winery. Or in the cellars. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. Mm. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Which means? Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Mm. Of course. I'll send someone right away. Yeah. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. <laughs> because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. Yeah. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. Especially since he's so brave. I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. See, I find the side missions to be so interesting because they always show you that you're getting nothing. Like, no gold, but you can still get stuff. And I think some of them we have actually ended up getting gold, or you could sell it or do things like that, too. Okay. Worth it for the items. 
should we we do need to finish no 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 that uh completed that quest completely which is nice too that you don't have to go back to the original person all the way back at the hideaway so we have red letter but we also have two in this area right here so i'm actually gonna go talk to yeah because that's three uh... let's close out this mission yeah one mission at a time it might be faster to travel to that yeah go ahead and just travel here so it should be somewhere in here we should pick him up a new satchel too so nothing falls out of it anymore while we're here and now it's daytime isn't it or is the sun still setting yeah i guess it's sunset the courier said does it tell you on the map no pack might have split while he was passing through the bales i better keep my eyes open i wonder if there will be a side mission up at the the beautiful home up there for true set well there you go Good. Lost supplies. Looks like I'm in the right area. And there. That's insane. I mean, I I make sense, but to individually water all of the vines, it's a whole day's work by itself. More of the lost supplies. Hmm. So you guys have to let me know, do you like quests like this or do you find them like mundane and boring or do you enjoy just kind of immersing yourself into more than just the main story? Pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. Yeah, she might have... Oh, there's another lady up there though. She might have picked it up. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Well... Master Quentin. I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while you've back. You've gotta be kidding me. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? A dog? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Thank you. So somebody, oh, this is perfect because we we're gonna head back to the village anyway. Gotta be kidding me. Of course I'm chasing a dog. The flowers. Wait, the music. Is it in the middle of changing between two different songs? Watchmen. What was that? It's looking to be a fine harvest this year. It wouldn't be a medieval game if somebody's not talking about a harvest. Of course. It must be somebody's dog. As long as it didn't rip into the letter itself. I'll call ya. Did Master Quentin summon ya? I think I'd live in Lost Wing. It feels like really the shad's all salted and smoked. It'll be an age before the stink's gone from our skirts. Oh. But at least you'll have the Grimkins? The Grimkins? A whole day on the line and they're still not dry. And now you're using magic to do it? Oh, there he is, there he is. These feel like fable level quests. Look at this dog. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. It's like a whippet. Someone's waiting for this. Surprised you let us get it. Already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. I'm trying to think of when people are like designing these. Ah, uh, yes. Let's have them pick up loot. Or pick up the lost items. Oh, and on top of it, they have to go run after a dog because the dog took the letter. <laughs> so we're going to do the cellar. We do have to return the item to the hideaway, but let's do the cellar and the other one here. And then we're going to Rosaria. Or no, I think it's just near Martha's Vineyard. I don't think it's in the capital itself. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Emil, what's up? I, I, I want no trouble. They just see the blades and they think I'm going to do something? Wait, wait, that's... Oh, 
Glory to Griga. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. Hanged. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you mm. need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that Blight. matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever oh. known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. <laughs> and if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. For garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. So, I love the way they just like freeze things. And I feel like everybody's always saying that. You look like you can actually use that blade that's on your back. As in implying that so many people just do it for show. I mean, it is a... I guess it would be a scare tactic back then. All right. I'll see to it. Dying on the vine. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. That is their number one way of profiting, I believe, and keeping their... Uh, their town afloat and everything. Ooh, what's in here? Hello. Bet you'd like to see what's beyond that door, wouldn't you? We're not on my watch. Okay. Believe me, I will find it. Didn't I go down there before? Oh, I think I did sneak into there before. Uh, let's ask what this guy needs too, because he might need us to also go through the I vineyards. The gross, or go to the vineyards too. Seems like all the business and quests are in the vineyard. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. Seems shady. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Mm. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of bear you. Bearer to bearer. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? The welcoming committee? <laughs> I can try. I guess so. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking Aww. a long overdue breather, looks like. They're not even wearing shoes on their feet. I'm not going to prioritize that quest, but we can do it since we're just right here. Look at that. The mossy, the river. Oh, it's a dream. Exhausted bearer. Chase has really good posture. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. He thinks it's a joke. Uh, I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. Aww. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. I mean, there's they like they're probably treated so rarely with kindness that I don't blame them for a second for not believing it. Don't tell me, turnips for some. And it still feels like uh, the whole notion is so fascinating because to me, I feel like it would be backwards. I'd feel like the people with magic would have the power. Um, so it took a tilt between. But the wall. I suppose that's more to do with. Oh, we can buy items. I think that's more to do with being a dominant. Is because people fear you, but being a normal bearer and magic wielder, it's just not the same. And somewhere along the line, somebody said that, hey, it's better to treat these people, you know, as our slaves and do our bidding because you have a gift and we want to be able to use it. So it's interesting how that power dynamic kind of flipped, because I would always think it'd be the opposite. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. Excuse me? It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. 
Also, if I'm pain, what does it matter? Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of it course it tell. is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, mm. don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. For the first time, that bread looks good. Like a game bread looking good. Um, all right, collect the bread and wine. Bread Although, and wine. do you, I don't want to get greedy here, but do you have Hopefully any like this will be enough? mutton or maybe like a turkey leg, something like some protein? They definitely need some meat on their bones. Oh, like even that right there feels really lazy. Like we're using magic to fill up cups with water. Quentin, what's up? If you've something to ask, ask. I, okay. It is a rare day. Oh, sorry. I always forget that I have to read these parts. It is a rare day when we are visited by the soldiery. Even rarer when they hail from across the narrow. And for what? A dominant that may or may not exist. Be it smoke or flame, no good was ever had, no good was ever had grasping at it either. When I arrived, Lost Wing was no more than a collection of tottering hovels huddled in the shadows of ancient hubris. The ideal place, in short, for one who sought to escape the watchful gaze of the Empire. Yet, it was not until I had finished my survey of the neighboring hills that I realized the true value of this place. The rich soil, the water plentiful, the sun strong, to wit, a most suitable environ for the growing of wine grapes. And so it proved, for our vintages now grace dining halls from the free cities to the frigid north. That's really cool. I mean, it is a perfect spot, and wine must be a good industry to get into in these days and times, you know? I'm sure there's not too many competitors out there. What is there to know? Some would call me mayor, others master. The people of Lost Wing know the truth. As for my relationship with Sid, suffice it to say that he and I share mutual interests, which have brought us together. <sighs> We are allies of convenience, nothing more. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. And neither of us lingers over long on the details. I like Quentin, he's very straight to the point. I, I think that that's about as much as you can ask too, is, you know, I do something for you, you do something back, kind of like a nice even trade. I like that character in him. Not everybody that you're gonna encounter in this kind of situation is gonna be, um, like trying so hard to help you unless there's some kind of gain for themselves. So once again, I feel like they've created a lot of different perspectives and a well-rounded universe because of this. Very good then. Okay, so we did all three of his conversation pieces. I've already viewed that. So let's go ahead and bring them the food. This guy wants to talk to me, but we already, I don't know. No, his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard. Don't tell me. Turnips for supper. Brother, did Turnips. You oh, I should have over listened. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. They look like they've barely been fed. While the loaf is slightly stale and the wine somewhat watered down, it'll serve to fill an empty belly. May we? Truly. No. It's the crunchiest bread I've ever heard. What is that like a baguette? A biggie? Me over here having processed Such food all the time, not knowing fresh, I guess. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. Exhausted. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Mm. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Quest complete. Ah, uh, I really like that one.
It's so... Oh, and we got a guild bug. That's equivalent to what? 300? I think that's like 300 gil, so that's worth it. Oh. All right, one last quest here. Nothing bad, I promise. Not ever again. It has a lot of feel-good moments when you're doing the side quests. There's just so many people that are hurting and in pain. And what's up here? Hold up. Oh. It's just a more fun pathway. I got so excited. <laughs> Grab this vineyard. I'm probably gonna have to go back down there. What is it? We just have to kill the bugs. That must be the vineyard. The vineyard. The shouldn't give me too much trouble. So that's uh, more than a few wasps. I'm just gonna say. But you know what we're gonna do? Enjoy this bug. <laughs> Quest complete. <laughs> Actually, I think we have to go talk to him first, but still. Spoils none. Oh, bloody hide and sharp bang. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's Speak man know. I would say the most annoying part about this is just going the back and forth, so we'll just fast travel there. I don't know if it's faster with how long it takes to load. I think it's faster, depending on the distance. Also, when you're fast traveling within the same area, I don't think it takes nearly as long to load. The jumpy. Boy. Good, sir. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. And what is the reward? Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. Nice. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, there's a great ruse. He certainly seems to have done that here. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quentin's character I like a lot because I think he's kind of the guy that like acts like it's for nothing other than his own interests, right? Because like having a winery obviously makes him a lot of money, but it really does help provide a safe place for bearers all under the watchful eye and there's they they're none the wiser like they think they're just bearers working at the area but they are getting paid to work i think they're getting shelter they're getting food i'm not sure about getting paid but it's at least better than their previous situations oh we read this one the mysteries okay. looks like daylight every time we leave so now let's just head over to the hideaway, and then I believe that's it for now. Oh. All right, let's go open map and back to hideaway. I didn't realize it was so far away. I forgot that was a thing. Also, we do need to go to Martha's Rest, but let's go ahead and do... Yeah, let's just return here. We might as well finish it. Then we'll go to Martha's Rest, do that side quest, and get out of here. Gav's so annoyed that he's been standing there that long. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. The piano trill here. Maybe oh. I should just own up. Nope, you don't have to there own up. Are. I found it. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. <laughs> I want to read the description on it. Supplies intended for delivery to the hideaway by the clumsy courier Glenn. Lost on the road due to an unfortunately placed hole in his bag. A letter intended... Okay, we saw that. Oh, they're both the same. I thought it would say something funny about the lost letter because it was bit by a dog. He kind of looks like... um. Oh, I'm blanking on his name. 
But the guy that plays in the D&D &D movie, the most recent one, Chris Pine. In some kind of way. Maybe it's the hair. It's the hair in the outfit. Because specifically him from D&D. &D. No more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and get oh, a new pouch. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. What? She's off studying in Canver. And her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a yeah. daughter. Yeah. Well, this is why you do side quests, y'all. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. Oh my if there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Aww. He has a daughter. Red letter day. And we could get some stuff from him. Why write in sharp A? And this is why you do side quests, because you get more information about the characters and chickens. We, we can sell our guild bugs. Guys! You're all right. I thought you might be. Oh. <laughs> all right, Karen, Look talk to me. Girl dragged in. Hey. Going purse weighing you down. She's like the classic grumpy person that acts like they don't like you, but they really do. I'm not going to sell the Invictus because it holds such a special place in my heart. It's not happening. Let me get the uh, gill bug. There we go. Oh, I have eight gill bugs, y'all. That's a lot of money. I'm be thankful you got that much. Uh, okay, maybe not. I mean, I thought it was a lot of money, but I guess not. You could maybe fetch a better price in major cities, possibly. Do you have any sounds, ma'am? Oh, I want this so bad. Reduces heat wave cooldown by 2.7 seconds. Oh. I'm gonna, oh, but, but sounds like we can buy more. I know it's better for my actual fighting, but <laughs> okay, fine. You'll not find a better price than that. I'm gonna equip it. Can I sell the other one? Because I don't know if I'll use the other one, but I don't know how much it will sell for. Wait, 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 yeah, he waves the one I really like. And then right now, what do I have equipped? I have... Th oh, okay, so it increases the damage and reduces the cooldown. And I have increases gouge by 15%. I think before, what did I have on here? I think I had... Rook's Gambit or something? No, I had something else. Oh, was it Blo Bloodhawk Jess? It's fine. All right, we know that there's no other... Yeah, there's no other... Um items in the shop that I can build yet, so let's go ahead and do this next one. Martha's Rest. I guess I should have picked which obelisk to go to. The obelisk. Nice. Okay, it puts us right out here. This is a perfect spot to be in. It must be the same time of day all around. It has to be related to the main quest, right? Make a fortune so our swords help me So this this is the one that I really want to buy. Anything catch your eye? Yes, but I can't afford it. The founder's footsteps? Wait, I bought it already. Ignore me. I bought it already. <laughs> Didn't I spend I think I yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, I think I spent everything I possibly have. He has Lion's Heart. His are 500. I think that's the going rate for them. I'm trying to see if they are different across the board. Pretty well. I think the rate is the same across all the kingdoms. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help this is her us, cat. I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the golden stables. Oh. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. Never mind. I thought it was a cat when thing. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. While the cat's away. Oh, just the same. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. 
They looked a nasty bunch, though. Oh, no. Be careful in there, all right? Martha. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. We gotta save Martha, too. Okay. Oh, everybody's looking worried. Yeah. Play the bandits in the Golden Stables. She's not gonna give them anything. Yeah. Ha! Golden Stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Does it look like I earn a lot of money from this establishment? Like, come on. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Mm -hmm. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Tell me this is not... I'm sorry, I'm being, like, so dramatic. Spear's telling me this does not feel like Fable in any sort of way, form, or fashion. <laughs> Martha's gonna be enjoying this one. Oi, fight me! I want to parry you. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. He's not gonna get a single attack off. Okay, yeah. There is no. <laughs> Just fight me. Hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Parry away. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. Sorry, you have to deal with the bodies. The hero of the Golden Stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks yeah. to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. While the cat's away? I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. Mm. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge. But that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosario a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And... Don't be abusing that, but yes. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. <laughs> We've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you yeah. with a mop. I was gonna say, that's a lot of blood she's gonna have to get out of the floorboards. <laughs> Not ideal. And you bet your bottom dollar there's no coating on this wood. There's nothing to protect it. That's gonna stain. Why write in steel silk? Bye, Martha. And just like that, what, 45 minutes and we got our side quest done. The man of the, the, man of the hour. I think that's pretty much it. Let's go to journal. Writing wrongs. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly the quest we're doing right now. So now it is time to speak to Gav. I don't think there's anything I can purchase from him. There's not a blacksmith in this town. I don't think there's anything else for me here in this exact moment. So back to the hideaway. I wonder if we can go try to talk to Sid about his daughter. Let's just test that real quick. I want to see. Then we'll go to Gav. Gav's seen me run past him like 20 times now. <laughs> da -da -da. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Also, what did we get in the Arid Stone? Stage replay, arcade mode, Hall of Virtue, and we still have question marks on this. Uh, uh, hold on. I think my capture card is. <laughs> I'm frozen. Sorry about that, guys. My capture card freaked out for a second. To Sid. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's just a quick breather. Oh, I didn't think we could talk to her. There's work enough here for a hundred, and not nearly enough able bodies to see it all done. The hideaway is lucky to have you and Jill. There's work enough oh. here for a hundred. Okay, and not nearly enough able Just one conversation. I don't know if we can even go back in here, but I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah, we can. So your daughter's letter. Wait, If Jill? everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? Everything. We'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit. Okay, so never mind. Back to Gav. Actually, we probably have to talk to Gav and then come back up to Sid for the main mission. Wee. 
But yes, are officially back on the main mission path. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the banter. Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. No. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army mm -hmm. through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. That is a good point. It does make sense. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... Come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. Mm. But then you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Oh. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. That's true. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. Hmm. You two behave now. <laughs> Sid is such the fun uncle type, you know? A few days? We're headed there now, Sid. You wait a few days. I've been doing side missions for you all day. The blithed area over here. You know, I wasn't even looking at how much was blithed up here. And starting right here. This whole... Is this... I don't... Yeah, this is the blight areas, right? It's gotta be. Because we're in the middle of it, so nobody would look here. Oh, what is that? I don't know if we've even talked about what that is. What was up here? The dim? Oh, I think we had done that, yeah. All right, Lost Wing. Back to Lost Wing. Nice. It is around the time-worn remnants of a fallen airship that the residents of Lost Wing carve their meager existence, refusing to leave despite the imminent threat of ever-expanding deadlands. So it's a pretty nice spot for now. Might not always be. But... So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? I was gonna ask where- I guess Jill went up separately as well. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing up This line again. I believe the fastest route should be on. We have to go up around here. Oh yeah, we have not gone this way. I forgot that this was the province of Sambrek as well. All right, nothing new. The chocobos. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I'm so looking forward to FF7 because it showed that you could ride them. Clairview. Clairview. Wow, look at this. Look at these walls. The way that it's so, wow, that's like oddly smooth. I don't trust how perfect that looks. Mistrusting of rocks. Yeah, this is all new areas, I think. Oh, spiders. Of course, I hate spiders. Why is it always spiders? That's enough. Never mind. Is there anything? I can't jump over the bridge. There's no troll at the bridge. Uh, enemies to the right and to the left. Oh, there's more. Nice. Right? Combination stomp. 
We should try parrying a spooter. Also, I don't know if that's the... Let me look at the map. I think the right way is still up here, so let's actually go over and fight this dragon. Good morning. Alright, let's pop this, just get that damage, and then we'll start... Coming back up before we're done here, so I'm gonna use that. Ooh! Actually, it's such a good way to go about, like, trying to pop his stagger bar. Just doing a little bit of that. Sorry, do this, switch the Gruda. Mm -hmm. I feel like I still have a hard time, like, casting the burning attack. That is... I, I thought that that's supposed to deflect some of the damage that's dealt. Oh! I think I hit him at the right moment. Oh, I tried. I tried. Alright, let's try. That doesn't... Okay. It's probably that certain attacks can't be parried, I assume. Nice, dagger. Garuda. Heal me. Okay, go ahead and use this. Can hit the fire. 8600, that's actually really good really stagger damage. Oh. Temporarily stagger. Oh. Nice precision dodge and oh, the stick. Dragon Talon. I gotta figure out what the Dragon Talons are most useful for. Griffin's Head Braid. I don't think we have that. Griffin's Head Braid. Let me see. I guess we do. Hold on. No, that's something different. Oh, also, Fragrant Satchel? Submarine Chocobo. The seal. That's right. A small sack stuffed full of bursting with aroma, uh, aromatic po <laughs> poopery of citrus peel and flower petals. I just, I can't say that without thinking poopery. And sweet smelling bark. A blend certain to secure an audience with the dame. That's what he gave us? A satchel? Now I'm more curious about the dame than ever. That's going to be interesting. I think it was actually gear that we got. Yeah, we have a new one. Griffin's Braid. While it is true that the fair felines make a home of the Dalmechian deserts, tales of a flying lion with a mane of living flame and rage just as hot as fallacious, most likely the result of a chance encounter with a long-haired cat, ill-stared enough to have been caught in brush fire. Increases burning blade by 7%. That's actually really nice, but I don't know what I would... I'm pretty happy with what I have on right now. Increases burning blade though. Make haste. I don't want to use a potion yet to heal. Switch over to doge. Unless, you know what, we might grab some potions and it automatically heals us a bit. Yep, insufficient inventory space, potion used. You love to see it. Look at the wild chocobos. What's off onto the sides? Oh, hold on. Dragoons. Dragon net. All right, let's just cast this. And we'll get... Well, there's nothing we can heal, is there? There's a big void there. Two bloody hides. Wait, let's go to the... Oh, there's so many different... Clairview. Wait, let's go down here first. Hold on. Run over to the side. Mm. There's um, antelope. There's something over here. Raptors? Raptors? I've never seen a raptor before. Should have saved me except for this. Nice. Nice. 
feels kind of bad because I just walked up on their territory and just started smacking them. I kind of want to see how they attack though. What do they do? Like fighting? It's like an ostrich. Nice. 8.30, don't forget we are saving up for a thousand XP so that we can get the second um, super ability. Oh, where am I? Yeah, we're going down the right path. This is the clearing that I was looking at. More raptors. Wait. Go into him. Oh, whoa, we haven't seen that before. That's so cool. Just the scratches. Get him. Oh. There's actually a ton of them, so don't love this. Oh, okay. They wait, they cast fire. Hmm. Oh. I kind of feel bad. My wounds, boy. All right. Fire, 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 fire. I need to lock on. I'm doing a horrible job at locking on. Did not need to waste this. So this is Clairview. <gasps> this is so many new things. Wait, actually, are we sure we haven't been to Clairview when we were chasing? I guess, is Clairview not... I guess I thought that Clairview was where we were fighting Garuda. Maybe not. Ah, see. These are hard to find though, I will say. The chest back here. Black blood, chunks of white right. Bangs. Let's check the outskirts on this side too. There might be one, one more to kick open. Look for the glowing, maybe over here, no. I wish the dog Torgal could help you. Like identify if there's loot back here. Nothing. Oh, uh, hold on. Is there something? No, that was just the body of one. Almost looked like a statue a bit. I guess it was just for that one box and a few small grabs. So let's go, since we're headed that way, let's kind of go around this way and then circle back up here. And that is the glories, glories. This is like the perfect time to go here. More raptors. Oh. It's called leveling up. Oh, they were eating an antelope. That's gonna hit both of them. That does big damage. Nice, gouge. That was actually amazing. Alright, lock on. Fire damage. Uh, 858. I dare say if we kill everything around this area, we might hit our 1,000. I'm gonna hold off on using the really strong attack. Come here. I forgot about this stuff. The Garuda Balls. What was that? Sharp fangs dropped. There's nothing to loot. Wow. Okay, where is this? Oh, so that's where Kier Norvin. Oh, yeah, Kier Norvin's gate was. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this isn't. This is a different Kier, right? Or is this the opposite side? Ah, uh, yes, because this is where we went. So this is another way to get there. Okay. Gotcha. I. I guess I never realized how close San Breck was to all of this, you know? <gasps> what is it? Goblin coin? Wait, I don't remember what the goblin coin does. Do you guys remember? Does it just sell for a pretty penny? Mm. 
Goblin coin. Yes, yes, that, uh, yeah, Cornerstone of Civilization. Economics. I forget how much dragons are even worth. Persistent dodge. Wait for him to be staggered before we use all of our abilities. Oh. Woo! Never gonna catch me! He caught me! Here's we're gonna heal. Nice. All right, do this one too. That's so weird not having Jill. You're burning 12k damage. Insane. Sick of Togo. Know what I'm doing here? It's like I forget how to do things. I'm trying to get too fancy with it. There we go. He got temporarily staggered. Spinning. Spin. Nice. Sick and Torgo. He got me. Fire. Oh. Nice. Staggered. Sick of Torgo. It's not going to be enough to kill him, but it will do some bad damage. All right, let's do Burning Strike. Hit him with this. Nice, Burning Strike for the finisher. Nice. 40. 90 more and we can get that upgrade. And I'm going to hold off on healing. As always, I'd rather just wait and then have it heal me naturally by finding more than I need. What do we got? The antelope? I don't know what makes them aggressive sometimes. Raptors? Valley matter? <sighs> this is beautiful. Mistakes. Wait, what's going on here? What is happening right now? There's vultures that we're fighting, which we have not seen vultures, so we're gonna have new things. <gasps> we gotta talk to... Um... Oh. Oh. Torgal! My wounds, boy. Not my wounds, your wounds, sir. I didn't mean to cast this. It's a bit excessive. One more. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. 16. 16. There's more things over there. This area is incredible. Oh, loot over there as well. All right, let's grab the loot over here. Oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? Dang it. I'll have to grab that later. But for now, we'll grab these. Loot. Oh, I wasn't close enough. It's over. The raptors are so distracting. 938. Regal. Scorpions. Is there loot down here? There's gotta be loot down here. There's no other reason why, yeah. For two gil? Those we've seen before. <laughs> this is insane. Back in. And the fire attack. Woo! Alright, lock on too. I gotta remember to lock on. Oi! Oi! Get your friend! There we go. New enemies approaching? All more coming out of the water? There we go, that should do. Alright, bring him in. Take him back. 
Finisher. Good boy, Torgol. We haven't pet Torgol in a while. There you go. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> this is incredible. I know I sound like a broken record, but I just love views. Sunsets and sunrises in games. Remember Witcher 3? Spoiled. Absolutely. Oh. I'm just gonna hit them with the fire and flame. <laughs> nice. 9.94! One more thing we run into, and we'll get it. We got the upgrade. Sorry. Sorry to give you guys a... Wow. I'm just spinning all over the place. Dude. <laughs> we'll kill these guys. And then we'll head for the gates. There. North, North Reach. Excuse me? Actually, I think they're not. Do you think they're even giving me six HP or six experience? It's over. That'll the do. Used to speak of a brothel. A brothel? And that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. Used to speak of a. Wait, why are we bringing up a brothel right now? Did I miss something? Does the dame run the brothel? Either way, we're gonna do- I don't know, should we do heat wave level 2? To be fair, mastering it only allows us to assign it to any icon, but then we can have multiple fire abilities. Whereas this... Temporarily improve attributes by channeling the power of Ifrit. Recommended for use after staggering an enemy or when Clive's HP is low. I'm gonna do it. We're upgrading. And then I'm gonna go for Heat Wave, because I really want to be able to apply that to Garuda stuff. Let me go grab this real quick. Then we'll head over to the gate. I can't see the loot and avoid it. You know the deal. Is it just for two gil? Am I doing all of this for two gil? Probably. Morgan. By the way, let me see if I can... Yeah, I have three limit breaks now, so it can go... It's gonna be so nice. We can have that on for so long. Alright, let's just make this quick. And get out to the gate. Get Sick him, boy. Sick him. 32 XP for them, and they're so easy to kill. That's really nice. Do you see any... It's really hard to see the chest. Okay. Whoa! I can't do it here. North Reach. All of the carts. Look at all the pots! I simply can't decide. <gasps> I'll just have to take them all. What? Hi. Seen that outfit before? Look at the rug, the purple. Hold on, you guys. I had to grab this real quick. 10 gil will help me buy a pot. All right. It's probably to what the right side. What did you say was in these pies again? What's in the pies? Welcome, good. Mm. Back off, Brandy. Can't you see them with a customer? So it'd be interesting to see how they treat them. <gasps> Look at all of the fruit. Well, like a plum. Give me one of the apple pounds. of your arm. The biggest. There's actually somebody who sells stuff here. Oh my goodness. I feel like they're looking at me with, who are you? And why are you not a main character? I don't. Oh, this guy. This guy's looking to get a deal. Do you see that? He's ready to barter. Are you kidding me? The spices. The spices, the pies, the cheese. <gasps> this is all making me so hungry. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a branded touch. 
with reds, Fresh whites, fruit. ales, mead, ciders, perries, pies. murrays. Oh, everything but pies. I think it's over here. Whoa. Nice. The fruit's not getting any fresher. I mean, that's a... You're not wrong. You're not However wrong. However do they get that color? Oh, that's so true. Look at all the differences in them, too. And look at these. What is this, yarn? Oh, they're necklaces. I don't think we had seen a jewelry maker. Yeah. Very cool. Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather... used. Used? Yes, but spent hardly. They've both at least a good year left in them. That's horrible. I haven't gone to the salesperson yet. I still need to go to the person that I could have. I should have. Never mind. It's fine. It'll work. Dame? A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> Courtesan? I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Granted. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. No. Oh. Do you think you could please me? Clive? I feel like this is the hand massage Not all over dame. again. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my Isabel. less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. What we do? Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Mm. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Oh. Yes. That will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, Hi. what? Jill, I'm sorry. Okay, we're just going with it. She didn't even tell me what the favor is. We're just sending it. Aggressive? Uh, kind of like it. Kind of scared. All right, what, what can I do for up? you? Oh, the blade. I feel like this is truly the lady at the FF7 all over again. <laughs> briar clamshells. We already have some briar clamshells. Before the storm, 50,000. <sighs> Where am I gonna get the money for all of this, you guys? I'm gonna have to sell my organs. I mean, I guess some of these, some of these would sell for a lot if I wasn't gonna use them. I'm just not willing to part with any of them yet. I just feel like not until the very end. What sells for a lot in this stuff? Mmm, fallen iron. Anything that's sells for a lot, I feel like isn't worth selling to begin with. I'll be with. here if you need me. I have to pay for that. 50,000. All right, Isabel. Her outfit is such a contrast to everything else out here. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. Okay. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. She but doesn't actually mean it, though. It's not as if I can hide it. 
From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Okay, just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? My bear. Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oh. Oi, hold up. Oh, what now? What'd I do? I'm too nicely dressed to be a bearer. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. You didn't have to stop me to tell me that, like. <laughs> I guess he really needed to get the last word. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, mm. they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have... I see. ...an arrangement. I understand now. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Also, what did I agree to? What did we do? Is it a hand massage? Doesn't time? seem like I have much of a choice. Or a foot massage? It's a different kind of massage. Wow, okay. Oh, I'm gonna want to explore everything. <sighs> Hold on. I know, I need to stay on target. Okay. We'll be able to free roam later. Drinks and the veil? Oh. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> Oh, I like her outfit. Okay. To the veil. Look at this little patch of water. It's actually really nice. Look at the grass, the cobblestone. It's lovely. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Oh, who? Oh, is it going to be Jill? Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. <laughs> Am I drawing the bath for her? Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. I see. <laughs> Zooms out. I guess I can try talking to everybody. Interesting. Okay, so she, wait, she's a bearer, right? Yeah, I think she's a bearer, because doesn't she have the, the like, magic use thing? Maybe not. Mm. Sweeping. Oh. Y'all, oh, nice. Loot, loot, loot. Black blood. This is so beautiful. All right, stay on target. Speak with Isabella. Isabel. Do they have one of the same birds? The one with its, yeah. They must be doing pretty well. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I'm in your debt. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? Don't speak and to I soon. told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. <laughs> you, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Really? Yes. Think... Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, 
I need you to find oh. someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. <laughs> I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. I somehow don't believe that. Just not good at finding myself. The moon and stars from Isabel. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of nope. yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find Iron anything, flag. ask for me there. Okay, quest accepted. Let's go ahead and prioritize that. 1200 too. She got me across and is giving me 1200 for this quest. That music might not be so far away. Here. Yeah, we'll need to talk to everybody first, but let's actually go ahead and read that item she just gave us. Uh, it should be right. Oh, there it is. All right. The seal marks its bearer as a trusted ally of Isabel, proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute, the Vale. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. Yeah, she had quoted that earlier. That's really nice of her. I think I'm, I'm afraid I presume the worst. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. Now you are always welcome here at the Vale. Mm. Sid has so many friends. Well, I guess that's what happens over a lifetime. Just a little bit of kindness and humor. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. Mm. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Oh, that was her? Thank you. Is that Anna's voice, by the way? Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. I think that is. Tatian. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. Mm -hmm. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Oh, she was seen to lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Oh. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. Mm. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This Aww. man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. Claims. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. Do you think he kidnapped her, or worse, killed her? A man from the garrison. <sighs> Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Which is like the last place I should be going with this. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Oh, we have side missions too, you guys. We have three side missions, and then we also have the Dame's mission. Which I'm scared that if I finish out the dame's mission, we'll actually... I think I should go ahead and do these ones, y'all. Because if I go straight for the dame's mission, I think it might trigger the next part. Mm. I'm gonna risk it. I wananna see. Excuse I'm gonna risk me. It. You there? Yeah. The gentleman with the sword. We'll come back. I'm gonna see if it actually causes us to be thrown into the next cutscene. I'm gonna risk them. <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, it's not... It's not quite, um... Royal Meadows? 
the so the sound. Toussaint. It's not quite Toussaint, but. Oh. Snag it. Then <laughs> the music so changes. I, got it in for us too. As if either of us I gotta put this to the test, you guys, because so many times fell I like wait the veil, then? and then I lose Is the it? quest or what do you think? Or I end up uh, kind of derailing the focus of a main mission to get side missions done because I'm scared, but then it doesn't end up losing them. So I'm going to attempt I'm looking this. for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? <laughs> Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. Oh. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. Mm -hmm. Put some respect on it. There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. That's on not good. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. In Moor. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. She might want me to. Yeah, she's going to want me to go with her, I have a feeling. Killing me not to the side missions, but they'll be here when I get back. Oh, the bard! We haven't heard a bard in a while. Greetings. You are one of the dames chosen, I see. Yes. Me. I am but a nameless weaver of song, who would warm the hearts of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit me to make. Oh, that's it. Here we go. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Yeah. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't uh, that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Oh. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. You know, this all wouldn't be a problem if we could just, uh... That's the day done, then. Put some cover-up on it, you know? Slap a little cover-up on it. All right, the Dane. With the Dane at his side, Clive safely navigates the gates of Northreach and is one step closer to the Imperial capital. However, before he can continue his journey, he must first assist the Vale's proprietress locate an associate recently gone missing. Uh, let me back up real quick. Let me see. What was I going to do? I've lost it. I've lost it. Okay, so we need to go to Moore, and Moore is... Where? Speak to Bertrand in Moore. Oh, all the way up here? How am I supposed to get there? I can't fast travel there, can I? Oh, I can go to the other city, and then I... That's gonna be a long way to have to walk. Are you sure? I guess I have to? Uh, are we sure there's nowhere I can fast travel? Yeah, I mean, it says... Oh, maybe the, the stable's on the other sure. side before we leave here. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. That's fair. That's fair. I don't expect to... Oh, yeah. No, we can just or walk there. Flat. It's not that far. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Oh my goodness. Yeah, just the feeling of being here. It feels 
eerie, ominous. Not a safe place for bears. Word. I don't like it. And smack him like that. Nice. One more. Torgo, get him. I can't believe how I still haven't found anything to heal me yet. I'm not going to kill the bluebird. I refuse to kill the bluebird. Also, we do have to. Hold on. Northreach's premier house of companionship. While it is frequented mainly by Sam Breck's nobility and military, Lady Isabel welcomes all with the desire and the coin to partake of the pleasures her skilled courtesans and courtiers offer. Few establishments in the Empire are as well-loved or as oft-visited. And Isabel, proprietress of the Vale, Northreach's foremost house of ill repute, and one of Sid's trusted collaborators. Isabel is much admired by the populace for her elegance and refinement, qualities that have earned her the title The Day. I wonder if we can go up in this granary. I do want to go over there. No, there's nothing up there. No loot whatsoever. Disappointing. Let's go this way. The vultures. Just insta kill. Nice. Okay, we're gonna leave the wild chocobo. I want to venture up there, although I feel like I shouldn't. But I really want to. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I was so I was so concerned. What was that sound? It's just Torgol's pitter patter of running. Raptors over there. More vultures. Excellent. Another fight. Ooh. And then Torgo, sick him. Get him. He got back up. I didn't finish killing him. There, boy. Whoa. That was actually a really nice precision dodge. Yeah, let's go over here. Also, sprint up. The coastline probably has a few, like chests or something. This a dragon. Nothing? Do you see any chests? I see Gil on a body over there. I guess kill the dragon. Okay, I definitely need to pop a heal. I say we just limit break, although they did say to limit break after. They say to limit break after you stagger them, and I should have done that. I know. Oh, yeah. Nice. We got some health back from our limit break, though. That's good. Ow. Target him so I can actually see when he's going to strike me. Nice. These are the most annoying to fight. They're also just beefy boys. I'm gonna have to pop a heal. Torgo, my health. Nice, precision dog. Just gonna do it. I need my health back. Stagger. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to be in the air and do it. The root is all like air attacks, let's go. I feel like for like the 40 oh it's horrible. Like the 40 HP that they give you is not worth the whole length of this battle. Nice. Ooh. I do like that we can stay up in the air like this though. The deadly leap. Wait, get it's broken! 
Oh, okay. The more deadly lead. Staggered. <laughs> kind of fun. Right? And then fire it. What is it, 40? Yeah. It just takes so long to fight them and then you lose your health and... Ugh. And they all respawn. Which I guess I wouldn't like it if the animals didn't respawn, like if some of the enemies didn't respawn. Should be well stopped. Oh. Am I really supposed to be fighting these guys right now? <sighs> I guess if that means we're gonna get some goods from it. Wait. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, was that the crotch? I think it was. Did him so dirty. Curb stomping his crotch. Ow. You know what to do, boy. There we go. Hit all of them with that. Stay down. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to break that. Nice, guard break. Nice. So down thrust breaks the guard. That has a shield. I don't think I realized that. They must have told us that. Maybe they did tell us that I didn't have the ability yet. Yeah. Well stopped. Wait, what was that? I've never seen that before. What was it? Wait. I don't think it's any of these items, right? No, I think it was gear. It is something new. Okay, so this is, we have the Median. This is better. Demon Tamers, Demon Tamers, Demon Tamer Sash. While slaying a demon merely returns its soul to the hell whence it came. Until such time, so it is resummoned to inhabit a new host. Taming a demon is much more effective means of dampening its evil influence on the corporeal plane. By luring and trapping the under the undying spirit of the hellspawn into accoutrements worn on one's person, one might also harness their power and channel the portion of one into their own. <gasps> I love it. And we'll probably be able to level it up too. That was worth it. Can I go inside? No. But I dare say that was worth it. Is there anything on the backside? You know, this is also a point of interest too. This one. So I wonder if I missed something there. Give me one. All right, so we're gonna wah, wah. <laughs> this is beautiful. I mean, this is probably the place I'd want to live. Can we go up that way? Probably not. Like all the way up. Do you see this? Um, the home on the hill would be such a dream. Chocobos, not gonna bother them. Yeah, just head straight. Vultures. Am I trying to save up for another thousand? Is that what I had said? It's gonna take so long. Nice. It's gonna take forever. There's a side mission here. I don't know if we should do it in this exact moment or wait. Right into the tree. Hmm. I suppose we could always hear. What? You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Okay. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. I mean, I guess so. I, I, right. A kid is in Where danger. Is I need to go save him. My. 
I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. You're gonna insult me at the He's same over time. over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. I know he's complimenting me, but it still feels like an insult, you know? It's an insult to all of us, Brandon. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. Actually, that's a good point. I need to be careful. I wasn't really looking at it like that, but that is a really good point. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! What if I can help it? Do you think that he was hoping his son would die? That sounds horrible. Maybe that's not. Maybe I'm off. I think I'm off on that one. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Probably off on that one. Stay in this area. Stay down. Enemy slain. Spoils. Two. Two AP. Bloody hats. What's going on here? Oh, he's so no! young. You aren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? What? Your father said you were being attacked. They've been doing You're this for sport? To talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Please tell me that is Joffrey's voice. That has got to be Joffrey's voice. Come on. That is so Joffrey. The wolf's <sighs> work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Mm -mm. This is horrible. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Also, did you see he was starting to get the paralysis or not? It's not paralysis, the uh, stone. He looks like Joffrey, sounds like Joffrey. And his quest acts like Joffrey. It's fun to kill bears. If this doesn't speak to the cruelty of these people, I don't you, know what does. Brandy, come here this instant. <laughs> How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. <laughs> you are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Are you not entertained? Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? That's well, you for assuming that we're all the same. The sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That wretch would be the dame. How will you respond? I don't think we've had response options. That wretch would be me. I probably shouldn't admit that I'm on my own. But do I want this to reflect onto the dame? She doesn't want me to cause trouble. But she needs to know about this. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Mm -hmm. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? It's not Can even you close to the same. Fear? Their pain. From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. <gasps> With it. jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I wish I could just show them I'm a dominant. 
I really wish we could do something else besides that. This does not feel like a good ending. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. No. That much I can do at least. Clive. How many bearers have lost their lives yeah. to this nobleman's sport? And this is probably just one nobleman. This probably happens all the time. Speak with Bertrand. We need to get back on the dame's mission, but we'll take a second to do this, y'all. They did not deserve this. All <sighs> victims of the nobles' games. Who is this? You must be Clive. Raymond. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Oh. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. I thought the protagonist always looks so different from, like, the normal people in the game. Like, the citizens and things like that. There's such a contrast in hair, face, clothing, everything. I mean, it's a beautiful spot to be laid to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. Mm. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. <laughs> bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still. Such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Oh. Oh? That's what you get for messing with pups. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. There you go. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For their help. Okay, this was a really cool side mission. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Very mysterious, a little ominous, but also I kind of like him. Quest complete. That was, that, I thought it was going to be such a simple quest, but there was so much more depth to that. Um, and I like him even just bringing that up. Like, what will they do when they bite back? This is going to be an uprising that we're going to have when we figure out what we're doing. Oh. That was good. Let's go check this out. Now this kid will have to, I don't know if he has a mother or anybody to raise him, but he's going to find out real quick. Oh, look at this. Oh, the wood. Oh, they have them completely gone. They just leave the blood. I guess it's better than having you gloat in the boy's face. But it would have been good. There's a side mission. I drop in the field yesterday. How do they expect us to it's a side mission right here, too. Lizette? Lizette, I mean, I kind of want to help her. I know we know I'm staying on my mission. I would have been able to Okay, I'm staying on my mission. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Hmm. It's my turn. Let me try. Come on, oh, give it back. anybody can use the. Clobber me. I guess anybody can use the crystals. Maybe I'm still trying to figure that out. I suppose everybody can use the crystals. A farming village located in the rye fields of the Royal Meadows, not far from the Sambrecois, Sambrecus, capital of the Oriflame. 
Her residents harbor a strong hatred for bearers, more even than ever, than elsewhere in the empire, making it a very dangerous place for those who visit and bear brands. That's me. All right, that's the stable guy. I feel like we should probably start by doing that, but uh, I just wanna. What do you want? I'm surprised he's even selling. I'm surprised you can buy stuff here. 2.7, so we already own that. 40,000. 40,000. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Okay, that's a response that I would expect. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. <laughs> well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. What if she's in the capital? But only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, Keep your head down. Oh, gosh. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. And also, I feel like it's got to be a representation on the dame that she's having branded, giving them this brooch, doing his own stuff. I don't know. I feel like it can only be more suspicious on her. I mean, obviously, people can look at it as her using the bearer for, like, her own missions or, you know. This is such a small town. Okay. Traveling train. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Everybody. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But... Although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, oh. as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. Really? But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. I would even... My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you? <laughs> that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. Uh, yeah, of course. I'll get right on that. All right, ruins over yond. Oh. You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces, but her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. The warning, my wayward lamb. All right, I'm gonna grab a dice real quick, and then we're gonna go to the ruins. Yeah, oh my goodness. It's like, oh, it's like all like village farmlands. And then you could take half of this strip and the marble is probably worth more than both of these villages combined. Just right there. Look at the walls. Oh, the decadence. Also, is there something down here? Yes, there is. You got to explore it all. I like these patches of purple too. It makes it more colorful. Not much chance I'd make it through the penitence gate without someone recognizing me as a deserter. Is it called the penitence gate? Sid had better have a plan. Yeah, how are you going to get through this gateway like this? The cliffs. The cliffs are so cool. 
I always, I gotta remember to stop it sitting like a gargoyle. Here, Do you Wolf. think he took her here no, and then killed her? Closer to the village. Pop that. The, the sounds of them. There you go. Okay. Oh. Did you hear that too? Bloated wolf, by the way. Back there. I love that you can have the... This... Oh, wait. That you can have this one on and still do the... Flaming sword, the burning sword. There's no way that it, is this like a not it wouldn't be a Romeo and Juliet, but did he take her and then kill her and kill himself too? Oh shoot! Damn it all! They just Bodies. the wolves must have got to them. A man and a woman. The wolves got to them. Yeah, she's in the dames. Oh my goodness! Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Somebody else. The comb. The comb. So it is you. Uh. Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. Garrison soldier. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. Mm. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. <gasps> then one day he sees her with a new comb. Oh. I think she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. Mm. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? It was because she was be doing so well. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly yeah. not better Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. That's right. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. Mm. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. <sighs> Speaking of which... I saw her in more just now. Oh, she's up here? Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Yeah. That's a good point. I think it will. I dare say. I need to tell Isabel. It's horrible. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. I do love that they, they seem to always have somebody kind of approach so that no bodies, have you noticed that? No bodies have, for the most part, have just been left there. There's usually somebody coming up to explain how they're cleaning up the bodies or what they're gonna do. Especially with the bodies of the bearers that are laid to rest. We have a side mission, but I'm gonna start by talking back with her and then hopefully that will open us up to be able to complete the other side missions. Good morning. If it was a message, I should have let them talk. You are still first. in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. Nice. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but is that the one up on the you hill? You've come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. Mm. The comb. I see. My dear Tatia. 
It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Mm -hmm. Especially a client who's young and far Perfect. from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. A weathered comb. An old wooden comb gifted to Tatian by Madame Isabelle. Several of the teeth appear to have been recently broken. No doubt she feels Thank responsible to a certain extent. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Oh, that's a horrible quest. I feel like a lot of the stuff in these in this area has just been really sad quests which speak to the area that we're at and also how it it's a reflection of how bears are treated and i think also just the the people of sam breck it's interesting to see their perspective on a lot of this stuff too meteorite i should go before you do oh. i have one last gift another a token gift? of my thanks the veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that yes. the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I'm picking up what she's been doing. And thank you again. That couldn't possibly be true, but if it were... Nice. So, right here we've got... Let me see. It is, it's that, it's the... I thought so. Yeah, that must be a chapel. Uh, so let's go ahead and the we have um like four side missions So I'd say we do the side missions and then at least a few of them and then I think that will be really good for today We did a decent chunk of main questing. What is this Chloe? Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores But she hasn't come back yet. The chicken? I think she's lost. Please can you help me look for her? I can try play things. I can't promise I'll find her but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. That does not give me She likes any. walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Is it a chocobo? Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is oh. my job to feed her. Oh my gosh, that's that a case, great VA. Let's not keep her waiting. No. They intentionally don't tell you what you're looking for, so I'm suspicious about this. That's a lot of field to search. Yeah. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. What am I looking for is the better question. Describe her to me. Proceeds to tell me nothing that you really helps. Fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging yes. by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? Right back you at tell you. Tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet, Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. Guys, do you think it's a branded? The windmill. I mean, that would be with you now. horrible, but... I won't have Idle branded underfoot. The way that she spoke about her, the way that it's vague, and also, on top of all of it, the fact that this is in more, it makes sense if it, she were... Up, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. It would make sense if they start giving them that attitude towards branded from a young age. Okay, no, it's a dog. Sorry. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's just a dog. It's made to assume there's a person behind it. More brown than white. You're not Chloe. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? I saw feet. Is that... 
Someone napping on the job. Mm -mm. I hope they don't mind the interruption. Is Chloe an old lady? I was thinking. Oh. oh my goodness. That's Chloe. The crystal's curse. Oh. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. <sighs> you knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had prissy hair. Her voice. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? <gasps> do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse, that's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. <laughs> it's true. And without that brand, mm -hmm. she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. But Dad said bearers don't have parents. <gasps> they do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... I don't feel bad that I made her feel bad. Because she probably won't feel bad tomorrow. Holy cow. Yeah, that had it written all over it. As soon as she wasn't descriptive and like... It being an animal or some sort with the brutality that we saw from the other child as well like they're raising their kids to have this opinion at such a young age this is crazy all right we're gonna do the side missions inside of there and actually it makes so much sense with the music and everything i think that the atmosphere that they're building here in aura flame is go on mm. back to the pens we are I need you fit for the moral It's so well done. I mean, it's a hard area to be in, but it's the reality, right? For a lot of Brandon. I think that there's been a lot of cushy moments today, so Brandon. far where we haven't seen the actual brutality. Finding the Crystal's Curse was the first time we saw just how brutal it can be. Curious fellow. You see it too, then. It's not just me bleary eyes playing tricks on me. What if you it? mean the waves stopped at full crest, then yes, oh. I do. How could I miss the bleeding thing? I didn't see that. What is that for? Or what caused that? Is there, there would be a water dominant, I'd assume. All right, three more missions, y'all. We've got the Wampy on the wall, Pride comes before the fall, and Friend of the People. So I'm just gonna do the closest one, and then we'll go to the chapel. Was there a uh, person to buy from in Northreach? I don't think I've seen a shop tender's indicator anywhere. One of them get on this side. Excuse me. You yes. There? This guy. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. Yes. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. Of course. I know exactly what I'd be assisting. Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. Mm. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. <laughs> and oh. who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need seems suspicious help the merchant with his dealings beyond the wall for a thousand look girls Why gotta not? get we gotta get music Marvelous. okay girls gotta eat. the task is simple enough pass through the gate and okay. deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients easy enough there are three in total a grocer an apothecary and a distiller you need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table 
Nothing dangerous, I hope. The rugs. Oh. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. I am so and sure. Though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Right, right. All right, prioritize quests. Three heavy purses. We'll go ahead and deliver these. Nothing about this says drug deals at all. I strongly advise. Oh, and now I get to deliver That's to the, the people that were it. rude to me to begin with. Hmm. Was it 50,000 for the song out here? Ma'am. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business oh. must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. What is it? Every jaunts and jostle. Jostle of this an exceptional leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melod melodic melodic tingling that is likely best ignored. There's a tingling? Why would it be tingling? <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. How much money are we talking about here? All this for a drink. Not oh. just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. Is it? The guards find that. They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Oh. Of course. A little bit of absinthe. Some moonshine. And this guy. I guess we'll all. Oh, okay. Herbalist. I have no business okay. with branded. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him The amount of eye rolls I've been having with their attitude. Mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. A little bit different of a... Oh, this one's a... Yeah. Different reception than the previous girl. The Mongo. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You would do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Oh my hey, Bunt, Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. This area is horrible. Like, I don't like anybody in this area. We talked to the fishmonger? The dame gave you her moon and stars, did she? Yeah. You think that makes you special? You're only a notch away from being nothing again. Okay. I expect nothing less. Tinker. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. What if a Branded had money? I, I guess that would be a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. I feel like this isn't worth my pride, you guys. 1,000 gil is not enough to put up with Why these people. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. What's he grabbing? He's a tinker. Here. Yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Okay. So we've got... Perfume, cigars, and yeah. spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? No so I suppose true. there's only one way to find out. He's a tinker. He's a thinker. 
He's a midnight drinker. That's the day done then. Drinks in the veil. I wish I could sprint out into a burst whenever I wanted. I'm trying. I'm trying to like press down. I don't think you can sprint in certain areas. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Box of cigars. After the leaves of the tabac, tabac plant are harvested, they are dried and cured for several moons to improve their flavor before being finally chopped and rolled inside of a single uncut leaf. Though no other ingredients are added, the resulting cigars are possessed of the distinct aromas of vanilla, cherry, and clove. It is said that the petals of the 20 roses are required to distill a single drop of fragrant rose oil. A potent spirit made by distilling wine and then aging in barrels for several, oh, it's brandy wine, for several decades. As such, it remains a luxury, even for the aristocrat. All right, confirm, take it. I should have kept one. No. Just kidding. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No uh, need to be coy, my boy. That's all it Why is. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we smart. both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite uh, the risk, <laughs> our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. Oh. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Mm. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. What you believe. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I'm still trying to gather if some of the quests I should be doing on, like, to begin with. I wish there was a moral compass to this too, you know? The want beyond the wall. We're back at 10k, y'all. Nice. Okay, goodbye. Uh, next mission. Oh, I gotta go through here. Let's see. It really is that hard to find crystals these days. Let's do this one. Sergeant's got an info. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost episode? or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That well, best be believe it. strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How okay. about it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? Absolutely. I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's Robin. being properly looked after. Is this a mission? Pride becomes before the ball? Okay. I'll take it. I'm getting tired of the same old game of Fine. them just hating on me. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, <laughs> and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. I love take how a moment like, to get ready if you need it. I suggest you. Wouldn't it's like... you whining about an unfair fight. Prioritize quest. 1100? There's good money to be had here. Let's do it. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? Draw your blade. Absolutely. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. 
Let's be having you. He really called me cocky. I'm the one that's coming across cocky here. It's just called not talking. I don't have to talk <laughs> nonstop like you have to, apparently. To prove that I have something. Oh, and when you go crying your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Come back here. <laughs> you know what? I'll even let you get a parry up in here. All right. So you I get know time one end of a blade from the other. Strike me. Try again. I feel like more than just Leon's gonna come into the fight. I'm gonna get a multiplier up on Perry. Oh, I didn't get it. He did a little bit different of a strike. He actually does a pretty strong hit. Not a parry. <laughs> Got a timer? It's hard to get that timing. Just finish. But two times parry? <sighs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Both of y'all? Fine. I almost want to do it without using my special ability. Sort up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? <sighs> How to bearer win the dame's favor anyway? By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. I'm just uh, jumping into that. He is a beefy boy, I will do that. Alright, strike me. Alright, I don't know if you can quite parry that weapon. I don't know. Get back up. Knock him back. Oh, so you can't. Let him strike. Whoa! Oh! I didn't know that counted as a parry. That's it, you've got potential. I'll give you that. You've got potential. Keep him up in the air. I'll be dead. Oh. <laughs> There's no way he's coming back from that. Soldier's bested. There's no shot. That was a fun quest. <laughs> Why, Ray? <laughs> I stopped him in. go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Mm -hmm. Let's hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old sod had a point. <sighs> I'll leave you to it. I yeah, want to start. Good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. They actually took that rather well. If you have to tell the dame about this. Tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? <laughs> Actually, that was fun. Proving them wrong, but also they took it better than I expected. And 1100? Looks like we'll get to that 50,000 in no time. Emperor's finest thrashed by a Brandon. You hate to see it, but you still see it. Wait, what's this? Wait. Daily regimen, roll call, morning prayer, rounds, striking dummies, midday rations, the butts, armored sparring, kit maintenance, groundskeeping, and roll call. What do you need, sir? What can I do for you? I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Sir Matthew? Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be. Oh, 
a few. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Oh, I see trying to feed Not them. for the want of coin. Simple fare cost little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. Mm. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. To help others. Friend of the people. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. Aww. All right, finally, at least we're ending on what a nice quest. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked oh. and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Yeah. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, oh. a word in the ear of okay. one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. It's you won't not... be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I'm expected back in the capital. Oh, I've okay. I've already risked much speaking with you this long. But he said... Okay. All of these quests have given us a thousand, so I have hope that as the story progresses, we'll start to earn... curse is bad enough. We yeah. can't let people starve as well. Let's uh, do this one first. What did he mean, put it in the ear? Maybe just let them know what he had done to help them? Oh, that's not them. Oops. Aw, oh, mistreated bear. I have something for you. Food prepared by Matthew for three overworked, un underfed bears employed by the North. Mm. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Don't Brandy! Let me see. Who told you to arrest? Stow those damn flames! Her foot and her hand. And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Oh, oh. Oh, no, I'm leaving. Do you see her hand? And her foot? I give it a year tops before she's entirely turned to stone. He's healer, like a healer. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Okay. Oh, there's a right order to do it in. I must have got lucky doing hers first. The water crystal for the well. Dry. You look like you need a rest. Half as much as I need this. Thank you. Oh. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. He's starting to get it on his left arm. That's something his right at least. Hmm. I wonder how long I have to wait, though. It's still not the right time. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Oh, okay. <laughs> Dash, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Oh. It's not much. Yeah. It looks like you need it. Chamberlain must have sent you, but 
But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? I haven't seen his hands. Don't wait. As will my hunger. Oh. Thank you, though. Mm. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. He's already healing another person. Okay, so let's head to the Vale. Let's tell him what we did. I see. That's where we're just supposed to go to finish our quest. The flowers. Report this back. I know this is kind of a... It was a good quest. It was a neat quest. It was probably one of the better ones to end on, but still All difficult right. nonetheless. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business. Or pleasure. Going on my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Mm. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. Mm. So he really is a Chamberlain. There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Oh. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. Aww. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. My. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. So no wonder the dame's know. got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. <laughs> Clive's like, I'm getting uncomfortable. Jill's just up the hill. Friend of the people, a thousand. I would have done it for free. I did not need it. Magic dash. All right. I think this is the perfect stopping point. That was a lot. Like, we got so many side missions done. Our main mission right now is righting wrong. So, we actually didn't make any main story progress. Like, we didn't go to another chapter, but we're still doing righting wrongs. So still reeling from the atrocity they witnessed in Eastpool, one ordered by none other than Clive's own mother, the Empress Annabella. Clive and Jill return to the hideaway to consult with Sid to what to do next. So we are going to gather at the abandoned chapel, which I kind of pointed out to you guys before we started these side missions. And yeah, that's what we'll pick back up. This was a really difficult episode. It was really started out light at the beginning where we were working on writing wrongs we did a decent amount of side missions all the side missions avail available to us at martha's rest um we helped the chocobo and martha herself we also did the side quests for some of the people in lost wing and so it started out on a lot positive note and then towards this end we've kind of seen like a shift so as we've gone towards sam breck we really see the brutality and mistreatment of bearers and this is like in Sam Breck, right? This is I gotta be exactly what has happened to the people of Rosaria as well. We saw it, like we started to see it through Eastpool, right? And we started to hear the, hear the tales of how bad it had gotten for bearers. But this is like, I have a feeling even Rosaria isn't as bad as Sam Breck, like near the capital itself. I mean, seeing those children disregard life as something, they don't look at it like a life. They look at it as pets. It's just despicable and cruel in every way possible and comparing a young kid to being like joffrey is not um something i would compare or say lightly but it feels like it's so much so a really difficult episode i'm sorry to end you guys on a more somber note but we did like i think at the same time we are ending on a good note because it is showing us that there are people out there that want to see changes happen and people that are higher up as well not just me not just other dominance and and clive sid etc the hideaway there are more people that know this is wrong so i'm excited to pick up with writing wrongs in the next episode and thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next one bye youtube